I am beautiful. I went through a little bit of a hard time at school and kind of found it hard to fit in. And the first thing I kind of turned to was, was makeup. I just loved how it made me feel and what it did. And it's kind of been a rolling thing ever since. Experimenting with my hair colour and just really expressing myself and how I'm feeling. But it made me kind of create my identity and figure out who I was. About four or five months ago, I had an operation on my foot. I was staying with my parents whilst I was recovering. And I went back to London and met with my old friends and all that was going through my head was, oh, they're going to say, oh my God, you put weight on, why are you wearing that? You know, Because I'd been so secluded for a few months on recovery. And the first thing that everyone like scurried around and said was, oh my God, your eye makeup, your lipstick, oh my God, what are you wearing? And it was because I'd spent so many months inside just like watching YouTube and growing to love it even more. And those comments were so, it was so warm to feel. And yes, it was on what my makeup looked like, but it was something that I was really proud of. And having someone else notice that definitely gave me a lot of confidence and made me feel just fantastic. It's so important to take time for yourself. It's getting to that point and realising, actually, I love the skin that I'm in, but I also love experimenting with colour. And it's a journey. I think it's a journey that you, you think you're confident now, but in 10 years, I might be even more confident. So I think the biggest message to 15, 16-year-old girls is it gets better and you're going to find out who you really are.